Turned down for what? That was my brief stint at being a robot dancer thing. I'm so turnt. I'm so turnt right now. That's what they say. I'm so fucking turnt. Yeah. I'm turnt. You've been turnt. I'm so turnt. Since I'm the day I met you, you were turnt. I'm turnt AF. <laughs> I'm so fucking turnt AF right now. You're, you're so turnt AF. I'm turnt AF. You were like turnt AF like the first day I met you and you walked me to my parking spot and gave me shit about parking in somebody else's spot. You're turnt AF. You're fucking turnt. You, you've you been turned. No, I'm Liz that you say. So we, that was pretty funny. I thought my um, my French. It was dick, funny, actually. And you cut it off with your esophagus choke. No, my esophagus like locked up. And, yeah, like, but it was Something middle, weird happened. But I was in the middle of a thing. I mean, you could have just. I, okay, tell my body. <laughs> tell my body to not do weird shit. I'm going to tell your body. Um, so, sweetheart. Hey, hey we're turned. Um, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, I was going to say something. Where did you go? So we have, uh, do they need any more data, any more, any more data about Nerdist? Just to make nope, that really clean? It's just to clarify, we are now part of Nerdist Industries, Nerdist.com. You may be um, watching us on Nerdist.com right now, so you already know. Um, so you can still find us on iTunes or, you know, many of you have podcast apps. So... I'm pretty sure you can find us on your podcast apps. So just find us, motherfuckers, kicking and screaming, okay? Use whatever version you want to use, but just know we are at Nerdist.com. You can listen to us on Nerdist.com, and you can watch us on Nerdist.com. In the podcast section of Nerdist.com. That's all it is. No, no. There's a whole Well, they have like sections. videos and things. Yeah, there's other sections. We should this is a podcast. I think they know that. We're well, a podcast. But when you go to Nerdist.com, there's other things to look at. Cool. Okay, fine. Fuck it. Um, I just want you to know that our dog got locked outside and I think he's in an uproar about it. You want to handle that now? <laughs> no, I kind of like that. He's just sort of can't believe he's not part of the podcast. <laughs> he's been a little bit of a this little like lately. white fluffy tail. Like what the, get that, you guys, <laughs> what the? That? that fucking dog. It's all about him. Don't get me started. You're the one that did it. I had a perfect dog when we got him. And then you ranked him up in the wolf pack as being some fucking like alpha. head of alpha wolf male pack. Alpha ass. He's alpha asshole. Yeah. He's like alpha he's asshole. Worked up. Go eat an avocado, Rocco. <laughs> he's fucking, he's an alpha jerk. <laughs> and and at, about a, at a certain time every day in the morning, he decides he wants to lick his balls uh, triumphantly. He kind of like does like. But he does like the guy morning like. <laughs> and he like what does is that. that. What like is if it? a guys what? wake up with their boner and then if they were to like. Go, Do I wake up and be like, oh yeah, my boner. Well, no, but some guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my boner. <laughs> what do guys do? Say it. Okay, I'm not. No, I'm under. A, Assault right no, now. No, I'm getting the data. You're like, do it. And you're like little fucking right. hip wiggle. Like, that's what you do before you launch into an attack. You like wiggle before you launch. Okay, that sounds like a cat. That sounds like what a cat yeah, does. And you're a cat guy. Okay. So, what I was going to say yeah. is like, if guys wake up with a boner and it's like, I would imagine many men go in and take care of it or they hit their partner up for a little action. Like, that's we go, a, a we dude wake thing up in the with morning. a boner every day. That's what I'm saying. How many days? So he. How many days a year do I hit you up for action in the morning? I didn't say you. Are you listening? I'm a little confused. What What are we talking about exactly? Are we talking Rocco about guys or dogs? Rocco wakes up. What's the difference? <laughs> are you talking about Rocco wakes up and gets a little bit of like action going on his dealio, but it's like where his balls used to be, but he thinks they're still there. Phantom so it's ball. like this weird oral masturbatory. Whatever he's doing, he, has he gets ball, yeah. really into it, and it sounds like this. At about 6 a.m. every day. And it goes on for like a full 20 minutes, and it's embarrassing. And then he tries to burrow in under our covers. To, if he's a little chilly, he's like, I want to lick my balls in, <laughs> under your covers. He so, wants to go into like so refuge yeah. and then just like go to town. As if by my feet making that noise is not going to be. <laughs> it's not, it's not going to be. It's charming. Yeah, it's pretty fucking obnoxious. The whole world has gotten... I, we already talked about this. Everyone's out of fucking control with their dogs. Everyone's out of control. <laughs> the dog you know what? I really... I don't going to get on a whole dog no, let's spiel, not do a dog but I, I really don't things. understand. Look, if you have a dog that has got, like, um, missing legs or something, right, and you're going out for a walk, I understand putting him in that little, like, stroller dealio. 
But if your dog's like perfectly healthy, I, I really need an explanation. Why a stroller for your dog? They have four fucking legs to walk. Am I missing something? Is it someone who feels they can't control their dog or they don't want their dog to like jump, like if their dog jumps, dog jumps on people too much or something and it's too annoying. If they're going to be in a crowded area, just put the dog in a stroller and push it. I want to understand. Like, why? I want to understand the therapy dog thing. Like how do you, how does a dog become a therapy dog? Is it, and, and that's like, a what, Google search, but, but I'm curious about it because I'm planes a lot. There's been a ton of people traveling with, th- with their therapy dogs and I'm like, God, you can. You could really do it. Like, I could have a therapy squirrel. I could have a, th- like, you could have a therapy hamster. You could kind of do any, like, you could, how do you register it? Does the dog have to go through a training? Or is it just the person deems that the dog is a therapy? Like, Apparently how does it you work? just need, um, I think, a note from some kind of doctor. That this dog a- has a therapeutic value. Or something. You could probably file that I'm anti-therapeutic and make it to where I can't travel with you. You could, like, get a doctor to say, like, it's been found through That's just our, divorce. That's our trials divorce. that Bodie, oh, yeah. that Bodie. There is a legal system for that. It's called divorce. <laughs> Shit. I'm so turned. <laughs> um, um, you've um, been annoying me lately. Have I? Mm-hmm. How? Well, not more than lately, but I'm really observing some stuff. God, that's interesting because I felt like we were really, fuck, I felt like we were getting along. I was like, I don't really have anything to talk about this podcast because we've been really getting along really good. <laughs> I don't know if it's like, Fuck. I think okay. it's not something new. I Ding. think it's just coming to the surface. Dong awareness. Okay, so I thought you and I were just totally turnt, but I guess that turnt AF, but that's not really the case. What's happening right Well, it's kind of like turnt AF, but like on its head. Oh, it's kind of Kanye turnt? Well, <laughs> I used to be really like, I think I used to just, there were like too many things that were annoying about you that I just sort of would glaze over. Yeah. And you've been really changing lately for yeah. the better, and it's just beautiful to watch your journey, and you're just amazing. Thank you. So then the things that are left behind are really loud. What's left behind? And they behind? really stand out. What, like what? I don't quite understand your need to PR shit. What? Like, why don't you just say what things are? Why does it need to be like 11 times more than it actually is? Like like you exaggerate and like, like public relations PR. Yeah. Like like you like, yeah, it's going to be dead. And you like exaggerate to make it seem so much better when the thing you're talking about is already cool. Like I don't, I do that. Our, our, Go Moo. Our, you spend a lot of time with him. Our camera guy Moo is, also, roll, is also my good friend, and he knows me very well. Do I do that? Do I PR? Am he exaggerates. I just, am I like a Jewy lawyer? Hey, come on. It's going to be good, huh? <laughs> Sometimes. Really? I'm like the jazzy guy. I'm like the lawyery guy. This, the, this is the best thing ever. You're, you're not that. You're just you. <laughs> I like how you can't deal with what I said, so you had to put it in some other category with some other identity. Okay. Instead of like, yeah, it's gonna. Be, there's like, da 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 da. It's like, and I'm just like watching this like whole painting of things that are way more than. And I realize like, why the need for that? Like, you're, you have this tattoo. That means on enough my, within. It's on my other arm. It's only been 26 <laughs> years, but that's okay. You haven't had that tattoo for 26 years. I had this tattoo No, for I'm two- talking about this one, stupid oh, fuck. Oh, you're right. That one is Jesus. on that arm. That one is on that arm. I only had It that means one. enough within. It's kind of what it means. That's what you told me it means. What do you want people to know it means? What does it mean? Uh, yeah, I guess that's right. Satis intus, satis satisfied, sufficient, fulfilled, intus within, sufficient, a lot within. It means like enough within, not what you said. It means like enough within. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. No, you're just trying to like, no, I no, can't no. be right. I'm just you're just trying making to, it where I'm wrong. I'm just trying to PR you. Go ahead. I want to hear about this. So I, please, don't When you're relaying don't go stories or talking to people, it always is like, I wouldn't say always, but often, is like slightly spun to be more than it is. But it's like never needs to be because everything you're ever referring to is like plenty. Do you actually know that you do that? Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? I think I do. I think I do. The, one of the ways I know that that's happening is when you... I just turn solid and just go like... No. Like that. Not that. <laughs> that's, like, that's, <laughs> that's, that's nor- that happens a lot. The, <laughs> how I know that, you're, that I'm doing that is that 
you chop my balls on the facts consistently. Yeah, because I'm trying to All put an end to it because like, it's embarrassing. I'll be like, something you know hasn't even fucking been there for three months. You'll be like, it was actually two weeks and one day and four hours. And, no. and, and everyone, I wouldn't do that if it and was then a And everyone in the room gets awkward about it because like, it wasn't worth correcting me about. And then it makes me look like an asshole. Okay. And you kind of look like... A nitpicky wife. Yeah, you're a nitpicky wife, and I look like kind of an, like an exaggerating asshole. Well, here's what you don't notice while you're exaggerating. Yeah. Oftentimes, people, they just go blank. They get like, it doesn't seem right. No. No. People are out there thinking I'm just full of shit and exaggerating all the time, and they're just getting glazed. Okay. <laughs> that handled that. Well, good. We're good on that. I can see them going, huh? And then I'm like, oh, God, no, 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 it's not that. It's not that. Huh. God, I wish we need a third person here. I need some backup. Luke, can you just like come over here and like give an example and back me up? I don't think I think he's just being nice to you. I don't think that he sees examples of where I'm. Look at him. His head, oh, no. head is in his hand. Oh, he's fuck. Like, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Hang on. Oh. I'm recalling maybe like 50 conversations where I say something. And Moo, who's a stickler for facts, is like, uh, actually, the temperature there is a medium uh, 72 Fahrenheit. He does that all the time to me. Because I'll be like, ah, it was, uh, it was 40 degrees below zero. He's like, actually, it was 26. I looked at my watch. So, uh, so I actually think that he, that he, he Look at he's bending over I, laughing I, right I actually now. Think Our that, cameraman is doubled over. Okay, so I guess I, I have a tendency to exaggerate. Let me, let me. Now, where did that happen? When did that start in your life? Because it's like... Oh my God, when did it start? Well, I mean, who fucking... Why the need to exaggerate? Then That makes you think that what you're actually communicating isn't enough. When the facts are it, enough. It could or be... Or if you don't think they're enough, then just don't say it. It could be... Okay. It it's could like be a, habit. a cultural thing in that... Your mom doesn't do that. Well, the... the I, not in... Everyone, I don't not, okay, I'm not going to be so fucking worried about political correctness. It's a Jewish thing to have sort of a, ju- like to make things bigger or more dramatic than they are. And I, no, I don't need uh, letters from the Anti-Defamation League, everyone. I think we can all just take a step back. There's a Jewish cultural thing where you kind of, grievances are bigger. Yeah, and your mom does that. She'll take like a grievance and then it's like more horrible. My mom will do a thing if something's bad. She'll be like, it was the end of the world. And right. she'll mean it. Right. She'll say like, it was the most horrid day in all of existence of time. Like, what happened? Like, the parking ticket. Like, <laughs> That's like true. That. She'll she do does, that. She does do that. <laughs> and she'll mean it. She's not trying to... Ex- no. In her universe, yeah, it was the worst real. thing that's ever... Like, yeah. forget anything else that's ever happened to anyone. That was the worst. Yeah. So there is a justifiable... My dad is not an exaggerator, but it is in the Jewish culture to kind of, like, kvetch. Like, nah! But that's complaining. And that you do. <laughs> But there's I don't want to. There's that too. I only want to pick one thing okay. today. I don't right. want to like jump down your throat. <laughs> <clears throat> but like, oh my God, the the to take something and make it like, oh, we all know that. Like that's definitely all right. like we've so talked something about besides that. that. It's like, I don't know. Maybe it's in the same. Maybe it's a brother to that. Like maybe it's in the same family. The exaggeration. It's just anything. It's like the thing can't be the thing that it is. It has to be somehow skewed. Okay. I don't know if it's for the, the, the goal of storytelling. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to try to be, is it, is it relating to facts more or is it not, is it making emotions go up? Like I turn up emotions too No, much? it's the facts. So it's the facts. So stick to the you facts. You fuck with the facts. Okay, I do fuck with, so if and I. I don't get why. So if because I it can, doesn't actually make a better story. <laughs> Moo no, is laughing. I'm so fucking on the nose with this. Oh my God. Okay, so if, so I can, I can be as dramatic as I want as long as I stick to the facts. Oh, don't make my life a living It was 75 degrees. <laughs> it was horrible. Yeah, it's like, it why was horrible. do you need something to, why? Okay, why so, do you need a giant wave to ride like that? I don't know. Okay. So the facts, it's the facts. Well, I, you don't need to be a boring mechanic on facts. It's just the exaggeration, it can be embarrassing sometimes. Because it's too much. <laughs> like, it's not, it like, it like alters the truth too much. Like, people make natural mistakes, but to actually take the thing and then, like, you, do a full, like, You don't have full, any recent like, examples oh of anything that came, that came into your head on this specifically recently that I can kind of find? Um, no. I do, but not 
that are good for the podcast. Oh, too serious. I just don't want to embarrass you too bad. I can take it. No, I just, it's not appropriate. At all? Can you do it in a roundabout way? So I can know, but not, but you're not saying it? Um, it sounds like you have a good, kind of a good one rolling around in the nugget hmm. there. Do you want to whisper it in my ear? No, because that doesn't, they're not part of it. Well, but they'll, well, okay. Do you want to even? But it's like. When you're talking about things you're working on or... Okay, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah. Okay, good. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Like I, right. I, I jazz, I jazzify the things that I'm working yes! on. Yes! Thank you. I don't even like doing that. Well, you do it all the time. Oh, shit. Okay. You do. Okay, okay. All right. All right. All right, this is good. This is it's a fucking... jazzify, and I'm... I get embarrassed because it, as soon as you're jazzifying, it makes it be like, why do you need to jazzify? Do you know what I'm saying? If All the right. things you're doing aren't enough. Like, I'm going to understate it from now on. I'm going to understate. Yeah. Like if people want to ask more, they can. Okay. All right. This you is good might enough. implode. I'm having a little bit of a hard. Yeah. This is a little bit of like a fucking pill to swallow for me right now. I'm a little. Yeah. I can fit my neck a little tight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm a little turnt. <laughs> A little fucking turnt right now. You turnt AF? Yeah, little, Your throat's a little AF? Yeah, I'm a little uh, turnt AF, uh, IMO. Okay, well, you can In give me my... back a dose of something. Tell me my bullshit. Tell me okay. where I'm just so full of fucking shit. Well, you're not full of shit. You're not a full no, of shit No, my moment's person. where I get full no, of you're shit. No, there's not full of shit, but there is a thing that you do that, that I think is a similar thing that doesn't just get me, it gets others too. Yeah, yeah, tell me. I'm dying to know. Okay, you get a little... <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm already red i think i think i'm already blushing uh, all right well i'm not gonna g- is your throat it. still turned af yeah, yeah i'm still turned oh you My are esophagus is a little tight AF. you want a bite of chocolate no before I don't. you come at me no i don't okay you will get let me see because i hadn't thought about this so i don't have the wording for it right like okay. if i had sat down i would have gotten good words okay but there I'll are just fix my there are times you because you have a very benevolent sweet nature to you and and I've said this before. It's just who you are. You're just naturally, deep down, a really good person. Most people are. Yes, but but most people think of how to make the world a better place at times. You think about it all the time, and you always are putting other people before you. It's extraordinary. With that, sometimes you get a little kind of priestly, like a little <laughs> kind of like, like, you know, in the world... <laughs> There are times when the suffering becomes. I do. I totally do. Yeah. And yeah, the, I get all like monkish. And, and everybody in the room is like, eh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'll be, I'll be in a funny. pitch meeting with you for about a, a project idea, uh-huh. and we're talking about blowjobs and funny things and marriage and acting and art and this and that. You're like, and then I want to do a thing where I go around and I oh my God, see I all do. the kids and the kids are starving, <laughs> and all of a sudden the room was like, the room went like. <laughs> And then they were all like I nodding do. and they're all like, oh. <laughs> they're like, yeah, okay. that's important. Yeah, uh, I do. I do. I and totally do. I don't differentiate and between like work and like the weight of the world on yeah. my shoulders. Because there's a side 100%. of you because you do a lot of charity. I mean, I would mm. say, I don't know. How, I don't know how I don't have an average of how much the average person does charity. You do a lot. I mean, you're working with, it's not great for the podcast, but a huge thing with child sex trafficking that you're working on. You've done water in Africa, you've done pet adoption, I mean, human rights, you just go, you do everything. You're fucking out there trying to make the world a better place. Dizzy Feet Foundation. The Dizzy Feet that she's on the- charity, I'm on the board of directors, it's really fun. She's on the board of directors of a major- uh, It's fun. Called Dizzy Feet that works with, um, I'm gonna get it wrong, fuck it. Okay. We just raised money to help increase dance education opportunities. See, she's good at it. Okay, but we'll, but, but you'll, you do a lot but we'll be I like should be more selfish. No, no. I look at those actresses out there and oh they've like, they're just like their shits all turned out all the time. And then like, I wonder if they ever put their kids to bed ever, like ever. <laughs> like there's some fucking big actresses we have some out fucking there actresses that, we that follow. I'm like, they're never at home at night. And we're are like, you, do you, how do your kids ever? go to bed? I don't understand that. Have your like, kids ever seen you past 6 p.m.? I know. I, I know, you know. But they're doing well in their career, so I cool. I know, there is a fucking thing. I think there's a thing where, like, they justify it by going, well, my kid should see a mother being successful, Man, and that. I'm down for that. But, like, your kid also 
Like kids aren't thinking about success. It's and happening, career. right? That's how fast it happens. No, it, but the <laughs> kids need their fucking. But it happened. Parents. That was it. it I ha- went there. You went there. I do. I That's get how fast it goes there. Because I fucking care. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. And I don't want to stop you. But in the podcast, you'll see that we're in the middle of the thing, and all of a sudden, yeah, you're like, it's what <laughs> because and then, then, then because the dogs, and then the dogs, <laughs> and what happens is that some kids are born without anuses, and that's really a thing. <laughs> they have to check the anus because there's kids out there without oh, anuses, shit. and it happens so fast. It's true. It's really true. Because it's true. And I don't want to stop it it's because true. it's beautiful. I know, but it's it's so true. There's like podcast and acting and then there's Sometimes charity. I really go, I want to be more selfish so I could be like all those other actresses that like seem to have their shit together. And then I immediately go, I know. I'll have delinquent children that you're are amazing. drug addicts and you that's put, not what I want. I want to be put your kids so way it. in front. You're amazing. I do. You're fucking amazing. You're fucking amazing. I put my kids really out in front. I know. And you're amazing at that. And other, you even put charities out front. But it's really interesting. If you watch the podcast, you go back and watch. Even when it happened just now, you'll see there's times it where, just goes, when we're going. And it, but it's so subtle. You don't. <laughs> it's not like you like put a card down saying begin, begin solemn. <laughs> it happens. You do begin like an organic the, like, thing. missionary martyr persona. But you know, but you go there so subtly. You'll be like, oh my god, yeah, it was totally like blowjob sex, kids, huh? And then all of a sudden, the kids and the kids, and then you're like, what? Just where? Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> We're in tainted well water? How did we get to tainted well water? We were talking no. about blowjobs. I could see, I mean, obviously, my caring about the world yeah. is a good thing. Huge. But I should definitely pick my moments more and not just be, anything that you do in life should be with knowingness that yes. you're doing it. Yeah. And I kind of like unknowingly just slide into my thing. Because I was a very, 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 very young girl. Uh-huh. It's like since I was dinky. I, you have a, you are. I was like, I got, I'm worried about this fucking place. I know. And so since I was a very young girl, I've been in like, oh my God, we got to like, fucking, what's going on here? So anyway, that's <laughs> all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I care so much. No. Okay. So, but it, I get it. I appreciate what you said. I get it. You're welcome. It's just in pitch meetings or creative <laughs> meetings I or I just go like, <laughs> and then everyone's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've seen many meetings. Oh, totally. 100%. And it's not like they don't love you. They love you. No, it's just like, but they where don't know what to do we, with it. Where are we at? Yeah, we're like, what's we happening? Were we were about talking about a show. Now where we're in. It's a reality show where people are. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we're not totally. Doing... I'm glad you told me. And then I'm I, glad you told me. I, I'm glad you told me. Although you took it better than I did. I got really embarrassed when you said it because I hate being that jazzy guy. Right. It's like oh, I got I got a lot of problems. I got a lot of things going on. A lot of. <laughs> A lot of ducks in the pot. And that's fucking embarrassing to be that guy. I'm a little humiliated by Well, the by thing it. is, you don't need to be that guy because you have a lot of great things. You're creating amazing things with all these friends of yours. You have all these amazing things in the works. So, like, why? why? I don't know, man. It doesn't I don't know. The, it, it, there's a fucking PR thing. And you know what? I think I know where it came from. Tell me. But it, I'm not going to tell you on the podcast. Go ahead. Because I didn't have it as a kid. I know you didn't. I had it, I think, is it when you begin acting? Oh, I, don't, I think. Okay, she gave a. I don't know if that's the area. Okay. I th- okay. Here's what I think it is. <laughs> here's what I think it is. Just, I think that as like, oh, I'm. It's, it's too just hard. a bad habit. Yeah, that's it's all. Too it's hard not to talk even, about. It's that's too fine. Personal. You don't have to. Uh, yeah, I don't. I mean, ki- I think you you see it, and that's all that matters. Yeah, because then mean, you can are, like catch it. Kids are born without anuses, and it's a serious <laughs> issue. I mean, because the doctor has to put the finger right in the ass. T- what is that? Can you explain what that is? It actually, is there is a thing about that? I'm not going to talk about that, and I don't know what it is, and it's a horrible thing, and I'm not going to talk about it. Look no, at you. You're trying to take me there. No, I want to know what You're that is. You're going to take no, me there. No, it was on our checklist for our kids where they have to check the butthole. Great. It's a checklist. But you I'm do I'm not going to talk about that You're on this podcast. Talk about it? Okay. No, it's not funny. I didn't want it to be funny. Right, but we're doing the podcast. You're the one that always tells me, you, you get too serious. And okay, sorry. There's I guess no I was, area. I thought maybe for a second it was kind of funny, but it's I guess funny. it's not funny. It's not funny. That's another thing you do. It's things that are uncomfortable, you try and take it and make a big giant joke out of it. Well, this one went well. <laughs> <laughs> this one went fucking well. Look. Okay. We've been together a long time. Fuck. And Great. I love the fuck out of this guy. I think he is so spectacular. He's so brilliant. He's annoying. <laughs> I am annoying. But you're awesome, and you have always, 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 like, I could cry, had my back. Even when you were being annoying, you've had my back. No, I'm not. Okay. 
That's okay. You're talking about kids without assholes. I'm validating you. <laughs> Shut up and listen, motherfucker. Okay, Jesus. go ahead. Boy, you're shooting yourself in the foot right now. Okay, so every ahead. man watching is going, Shut up, dude. Let her fucking talk. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Lost my train of thought. Always had your back. You've always had my back. Yeah. Mostly. There's a couple instances where you really... <laughs> I'm still a little annoyed with you about like that. Like what? No. Okay. But for the most part. Okay. More than any husband. Because you're. it's not just like... You've had my back like you're like some like guy protecting me as we walk down the street. Like not like that. Why are you looking, I'm looking like you're glaring I, no, at no, no, me? No, 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 I'm not. I'm looking. I'm oh, looking. you're like this. I was listening. I'm listening. Oh, okay. I'm being intent. Um, <laughs> but like you, your estimation and observant, like your observation of life and situations and prediction is so outstanding. Like nobody I have ever seen. And, and because of that ability, you've always applied it to me and to help my life be better. And so I'm really grateful. Thank you. And your 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 sense of art and creative ideas is like incredible. Thank you. And way better than mine. <laughs> and I'm so lucky to be with you because I get the benefit of your artistic mind and you know and other parts of you too. Oh hell yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm so turned. You know what? Um, <laughs> what's interesting about I was talking to someone about long relationships, people that have been in relationships for a long time. And I don't think there's a right way or a wrong way. I just know what we what we have. Yeah, one people the, just have to work it out. But one of the things that's interesting is we, on the surface, in our day-to-day world, we don't actually have a lot in common. We have nothing in common. Yeah, it's the deeper things that we have in common. But yeah, I know, yeah, right. Uh-huh. But I also know people that... Like the key core values and goals we have in common. Yeah. In terms of functioning in life, no, We're totally nothing. opposite people. Zero. That's why we are always like... <laughs> So I think that people out there should never really look for compatible matches. I don't think compa- I think that's bullshit. I think it can be or not be. I know people that that are co- like literally they they like to hike every morning. It's like they're that couple. Yeah, they like we are. We are not. I that- like hiking, but it's never at the same time as you want to hike. We don't do any. We actually don't have much in common. You don't like to do the same things I do. I don't like to do the same things that you do. But there's something deeper in us that's kind of amazing. But it's interesting. There has to be, I think that for any relationship to work, there has to be the deeper things. Like, yeah. what are the most important deep things that you care about? Those are the things that... Like chocolate. Like chocolate and sex. If those things are in, then I think you're good. I think so. Yeah, chocolate and In sex. terms of if you want to go the long haul. Yeah, chocolate and sex. If you both like chocolate and sex, it's going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> then we're doomed to failure. Wait, wait a minute. You like chocolate and sex. Or you like chocolate. I like chocolate. <laughs> and then in parentheses, and sex. <laughs> oh, I like I chocolate. I know. I like sex way too but much But you know you. what I think, I really? I like sex way too much with oh, you. Ugh. Okay. okay. Yeah, because I'm cute. And I have really cute boobies. Oh, my God. Um, but you know what I think our best thing is? What? I think the core thing that keeps us together and keeps what? us surviving and keeps you alive from murder from me. What? Is laughter and our humor. Yeah. For sure. You still crack me up. That is the deal. Yeah. I think the, our, we laugh all the time and we're constantly, 